The true thing is we like permaculture, we like to practice permaculture in our life. I would be happy if I am next to the nature. I would be happy if I am surrounded by the community. I would be happy if I have freedom in my life. I would be happy if I have a healthy food, access to healthy food. Then I found if I have a farm, if I continue my farming life, then I would be next to the nature. We can grow healthy food. We can be around the community. Certification in <coughs> When it comes to food sovereignty, seed independence is the major. Those 600 plants we make, we make uh, uh, planning on. Okay, these are the plants which grow on sun. These are the plants which grow on shade. And when it rains for 30 minutes, when it rains a big rain for 30 minutes, this pond would be completely full. Because the water from everywhere around the garden diverges here. You can we collect it here. And along with the rain, along with the water comes a lot of soil. And that soil would be harvested here. Because we can see that uh, crops are uh, planted uh, as many species, as many varieties as they can and also have some livestock in order that they should, uh, could have uh, nutrient cycling. Yeah. From, the, from the plants, uh, they give food to the uh, livestock and then from the manure of the livestock, they can uh, have it as uh, manure for their farm. Training, promotion of organic farming, organic certification, permaculture and all. So now if you have any questions about the farming system in Nepal, Okay, um, in this uh, organic farm, I see it's uh, family owned and uh, they also involve the community and they find women's group. It's a beautiful example of um, when you own a land, you can control it and you can produce what you want and you have the power to to push for agroecology to all the people the food sovereign so it is happening in your area or what is your experience this type of farm can uh, a, a solution like the bibek is here not uh, move uh, to the foreign countries One is about like they said like they have around 70 farm women right in their group so but uh, uh, in here they have around 90 vendors right yeah. so do they have a system to collect others products mm -hmm. in a small piece of land just one acre they are utilizing this in a very effective manner we as a food sovereignty activist we should uh, uh, be mindful of that uh, that such a place can can be used as a learning tool and uh, to, to learn 
but uh, our main focus should be stay on uh, remains of our food sovereignty and agroecological agriculture. Long live international solidarity, Nepal, December 2022.